This video is a 10 minute morning routine. Hi, my name is Jesse, and today we're going to do a quick yoga routine that can help get you going in the morning. We can start just by doing a gentle twist. Put the left hand on the right knee, the right hand comes back behind the spine. Bring the palm of the hand in really close to the back and just gently twist to the right. Inhale, sit up tall, exhale, relax and release. Just breathing, keeping the core engaged. Try to lift and lengthen on the in-breath. Try to just let it go on the exhale. Good job. Switch sides, bring the left hand back behind the hips, right hand to the left knee. Step tall and just gently turn to the left side. Try to engage the core, try to sit up tall on your in-breath, just relax and release on your exhale. Slowly come back to center. Come to your hands and knees now, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Spread the fingers out nice and wide. Make sure the knees are right under the pelvis. And from here, we can just move, do some cat cows. Exhale, roll the hips in, arch the spine. Bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, come back up, engage the core, lift the head. Just move with the breath. Inhale, come back up. We'll do two more. Inhale, come back up. Last one. Good job. Now move from side to side. Bring the shoulders to one side. Drop the hips to the opposite side. If you want to make it a little more active, by all means, tuck the toes under, reach through the heels, relax the shoulders, try to draw the shoulder blades down. Dip the hips down to one side, engage the obliques, engage the core, bring yourself back up, drop it down to the opposite side. You can do a couple of those or just keep moving back and forth, warming the spine up. This will be the last one. Good job. Next we can get ready to go into downward facing dog appropriately. This is E. So line the hands up under the shoulders. Make sure that you have your knees under your hips, tuck the toes under, bring the hips up, shoulders down. Head hangs heavy, pedal the feet back and forth, bend one leg as you straighten the other. Try to bring the hips up as high as you can, maybe even coming up on your toes and then Push your shoulders down. Walk your feet forward. Bending your legs, make your way into a forward fold. If you want, you can pedal your feet. You can also hug your elbows, maybe. Just hang out. Come up halfway, lift and lengthen. Bring the chest up. Lengthen through the neck. Try to bring the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees back and forth. Slowly roll yourself back up. Inhale, bring the arms up. Hands come to prayer position. Exhale, bring them to heart center. We can leave the right foot forward this time. Step that left foot back. Make your way to warrior one. Make sure the front heel is lined up with the back heeler arch. You can bring your arms up to line up with your ears. Maybe bring your hands to prayer position overhead if that works for you. You wanna look for your big toe. That'll help you know that your knee is over your ankle. 
you also want to lengthen through the outside edge of this left foot here. Just push against the outside edge of the foot, firming that leg up. That will protect your leg. You can bring your hands back behind your back, lace your fingers together, open up the chest. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forward. Go to humble warrior over that right leg. Release the hands back to the mat, step the right foot back, make your way back to down dog. Hips up, shoulders down, pedal the feet. And go to plank or kneeling plank. Hug the elbows into the sides as you slowly come down. Inhale up to cobra. Pushing the pelvis into the floor to make sure that we aren't compressing our low back. Shoulders are back, the hands are right under the shoulders. Slowly come up, make your way back to downward facing dog. Hips come up, shoulders come down. And then walk the feet forward one more time. Pedal the feet back and forth. Come up halfway, nice flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Roll yourself back up, one vertebrae at a time. Bring the arms up. Exhale, bring them down to prayer position, heart center. This time we can bring the left foot forward, step the right foot back. Make sure the front heel is lined up with the back heel or arch. Turn to line up with the short side of the mat. Bring the hands up to prayer position overhead if that works for you. Make sure that knee comes over the ankle. Now, when you're in this position, you wanna make sure that this back leg is really strong. And the way to accomplish that is to push through the outside edge, lifting up that back arch. Bring the hands back behind the back, lace the fingers together, open up the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Going to Humble Warrior. Lift the arms up if that helps you. Go a little further into the pose. And then bring your hands back to the mat. Go back to Down Dog. Slowly come to your knees and just make your way into Child's Pose. Stretch the arms out, bring the forehead to the mat. Just check in with your body. Good job, now just walk your hands back towards you. Bring yourself to the center of your mat and just lay back. We can just bring the left hand to the right knee, stretch the left leg out. You can leave your right arm down at your side and then just turn your head to the right, gently guide that left leg over, making sure the right shoulder is on the mat. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Come up and switch sides. Stretch the right leg out, take the right hand, place it on the left knee. Have that left arm out to about a 45 degree angle, just guide that left leg across the right one. Look off to the left side, making sure that left shoulder is firmly planted on the ground. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, relax and release. Slowly come back up, bring your knees to your chest. Give them a little squeeze and gently rock from side to side. Just roll onto your side. Push yourself up with your front hand to come to a comfortable seated position. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you love this video. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. You can check me out on Instagram. Until next time, may love and light be yours. Namaste.